Hello, this video is to teach the topic, the matrix of a linear transformation. What is a transformation? A transformation is a mapping which maps all points X, Y on the Cartesian plane onto another point X prime, Y prime called the image. So meaning that X, Y, which is the object, always maps onto the image X prime, Y prime. So we see x, y maps onto x prime, y prime, which one is the image and which one is the object. The object or the point always maps onto the image x prime, y prime. So we have x, y being the object, x prime, y prime being the image. Let's look at a typical example of a linear transformation. Let us consider the diagram below where we have triangle PQR being the object and has coordinate P, 2, 2, Q, 2, negative 1, and R, 4, 3. Also, the coordinates of the vertices of the image are P prime, negative 2, 2, Q prime, negative 2, 1, and R prime, negative 4, 3. So this is a typical example on the Cartesian plane. You can see a typical example of a linear transformation where we have the object triangle p q r and we have the image triangle being p prime q prime r prime so that is an example of a linear transformation finding the image of a linear transformation the image of a linear transformation is given by x prime equal to a x plus b y and y prime equal to cx plus dy. This can be written in the matrix form. Oh, good. That is the matrix form x prime, y prime equal to a, b, c, d. Then multiply by x, y. So we still have the image and the object and the matrix in the middle. Good. So that is our image x prime, y prime and the matrix. A, B, C, D, and the object or point. Finding the image of a linear transformation, so we have the formula image equal to matrix times point. Let's look at an example. A linear transformation T is defined by T such that X, Y maps onto 2X minus Y, 2Y plus 3X. Find the image of a 2, 4 under the linear transformation T. Let's look at the solution. We need to write down the matrix for T from the given linear transformation. The linear transformation T can be written as, so T such that X, Y maps onto 2X minus Y, 3x plus 2y. So we can see that here it has been rearranged so that the other x values are the x column. That is the first column. And all the y values are the second column. That is the y column. This can be presented in the column form as t such that xy equal to 2x minus y 3x plus 2y. We then extract coefficients to have the matrix T. So we extract the coefficient, present it in the form T such that x, y maps onto the matrix 2 minus 1, 3, 2, multiplied by x, y. And so finally, we have our matrix T to be equal to 2 minus 1, 3, 2. Let's continue with our solution. This is our formula. Image equal to matrix times point. Very important formula. So um, image that we are looking for is 2 minus 1, 3, 2, multiplied by the point 2 minus 4. So when we multiply, it is row by column. So the first row of the matrix times the column of the point. 
Then the second row of the matrix times the only column of the point. And so we have 2 times 2 plus negative 1 times negative 4. Then 3 times 2 plus 2 times negative 4. So when we simplify further, we have 4 plus 4, then 6 minus 8, giving us 8, negative 2. Therefore, the image of 2 minus 4 is 8, negative 2. Now let's consider finding the point of a linear transformation. This is the other way around. In this time, the image has rather be given and we are finding the point. So this is like the opposite. So consider the formula image equal to matrix times point. Let's I represent the image, M represent the matrix, and P represent the point. And so we have I equal to MP. So if you want to make the point the subject, P the subject, we send the M to the other side. When M moves to the other side, it becomes an inverse. So P becomes P equal to M inverse times I. So we need to find the inverse of the matrix. Then we multiply by the image. Do you remember inverse of a matrix? If you are forgotten, try and revise because we will use it. To find. So X, Y equal to A, B, C, D inverse before we multiply it by the image X image y image example two if five six is the image of the point q under the transformation k find the coordinate of q if k is such that x y maps onto two y plus x three x plus four y let's look at the solution we can present the transformation in the column form. So x, y maps onto k such that x, y maps onto x plus 2y, 3x plus 4y. We then extract coefficients to have the matrix k. So k such that x, y maps onto 1, 2, 3, 4, multiplied by x, y. So our matrix K equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. Don't, don't forget our formula. Image equal to matrix times point. Image of Q equal to matrix, which is K, times the point Q. So if you want to make Q the subject, we send the K to the other side to join the image. And so it becomes an inverse. So we have Q equal to K inverse times Q image. And so we have Q equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 inverse. The inverse is exponent negative 1 times 5, 6, which is the image of Q. So looking for the inverse of K, we need to find the determinant of K then multiply by the adjoint of K. So the determinant of K is product of the leading diagonal minus product of the other diagonal. And the leading diagonal is 4 times 1, and the other diagonal is 3 times 2. When we multiply and subtract, we have negative 2. And the adjoint of K is 4, negative 2, negative 3, 1. That is, we interchange the leading diagonal of K, then we negate the other diagonal of the matrix K. So K inverse is supposed to be 1 over determinant of K times adjoint of K. So, so our K inverse, and K inverse equal to minus half times 4 minus 2 minus 3, 1. So to get our Q, which is the inverse of K times the image of Q, which is 5, 6. So we have negative half times the matrix for negative 2 
minus 3, 1 times the image of Q, which is 5, 6. So when we multiply, we have 4 times 5 being 2, negative 2 times 6 being negative 12 in the bracket. Then the second row times the only column of the image of Q, we have negative 3 times 5, which is negative 15, plus 1 times 6, which is 6. So when we simplify that, we have negative half times 8 minus 9, giving us negative 4, 9 over 2. And so our Q, point Q is negative 4, 9 over 2. Using the simultaneous equation approach, we can form a system of equation in two variables and then solve the resulting simultaneous equation using any approved method. So we have cases like that x, y maps onto x plus 2, y, 3x plus 4, y equal to the image 5, 6. And so when we equate the corresponding entries, considering the equal sign, we have x plus 2y equal to 5 being our equation 1. Then 3x plus 4y equal to 6 being our equation 2. Using simultaneous equation approach, in this case, specifically, we are using the Kramer's rule. We've done the video on Kramer's rule already. So kindly check. If you don't understand, kindly go back and watch that video so you can understand very well. So, looking for x, we have determinant of x over original determinant. So, 5, 2, 6, 4 over original determinant, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, when we simplify, we have 8 over negative 2, giving us negative 4. Then, when we want to find y, is determinant of y over original determinant. So determinant of y being 1, 5, 3, 6. And original determinant, we repeat 1, 2, 3, 4. So when we simplify, we get negative 9 over negative 2. So when we simplify, finally, we have 9 over 2. And so our Q, the object Q, is given by negative 4, 9 over 2. Thank you very much.